Today in the gospel, we see Jesus being persecuted for doing something good, for healing a man. You know, whenever I read this gospel, I think of parents who are oftentimes persecuted by their own children when they're trying to do something good. For example, when they make us eat healthy vegetables or do our homework or go to bed on time when we were kids, we probably persecuted them a little bit. They felt a little bit of our anger. But you know what? They did what was right and just because they loved us and they wanted what is best for us. And this is the beauty and the good news of the gospel today. That even though Jesus is facing persecution for healing a man, for calling God his Father, all things that are good and right and just and true, and he's facing persecution for these things, even though these things are happening to him, he continues to work. He continues to set his eyes on God and on God's will. Just like parents do when they are teaching their children and raising them. So the good news for us and the little inspiration for us is to keep working, keep following God, even when we face persecution, even when people are hurting us for being disciples of Christ. And what do we do? We pray for them so that their hearts may experience a conversion and an encounter with God, just as God has been patient with us and waited as our hearts were slowly converted to Him. We too must be patient with others, even those who are persecuting us for doing what is good and what is right and what is just. Ultimately, that last line of the gospel today is what we should keep our focus on, doing the will of God when it is easy and especially when it is difficult. But we know that our great reward is stored for us in heaven. Let Jesus' words be our words today. That we came into this world not to do our own will, but the will of our Heavenly Father. May God bless you.